What is up, everyone? This is Gary A. Swaby. And no, you're not mistaken. Power isn't back on TV yet. That's not why we're here. But there is a very special announcement that has come out. And we have to, you know, address this and talk about it. So uh, I am joined today by Mr. Richard Bailey Jr. How are you doing, Richard? Doing good, Gary. What's up, listeners and viewers? What's up, indeed? And I, I want the world to know that, um, you know, although we aren't currently doing the power cast, this is a very busy man, Mr. Richard Bailey Jr. You know, he, he's still out there doing podcasts. So you guys go go check his resume. Go check out what he's, what he's been getting up to because he's been doing a lot, you know, even though power cast is on break. So, uh, and then we also have Miss Dana Abercrombie, who has also been very busy. How are you doing, Dana? I'm doing very well. Thank you for having me once again on the show. Good to good to talk to you both again. Um, even though Ghost isn't back yet, but it's really good to see these faces and, and, and speak to these people. And we have a very big announcement um, that we have to kind of discuss today. Um, so basically, there's a new spinoff that has been announced, um, and you know we we've been, we've kind of been getting like you know little inklings and teasers of this being a possibility in the past, but now it is official. So we're going to uh, basically run through the press release real quick, and then we'll get into a little discussion about, you know, what we think this means and what we could potentially see in the future and what, what is the future of the power show in general. So the announcement uh, is Stars announces Power Universe prequel series Origins. It is in development and is about the origin story of power fan favorite characters, Ghost and Tommy. So uh, the, the, the press release says, Stars announced today the development of a new power prequel series, Origins, which will continue to explore the power universe in a fresh way, delving into the origin story of fan favorite characters, Ghost and Tommy. This would mark the fourth spin-off of the hugely popular Power series, preceded by Power Book 2 Ghost, which will debut its fourth season in 2024, and Power Book 3 Raising Canaan, which is currently filming its fourth season in New York, and Power Book, uh, Book 4 Force, which is currently filming its third season in Chicago. As we approach the 10 year anniversary of power it is incredible to witness the enormous connection our fans have with the power universe, said Catherine Busby, president of programming for stars. We can't wait to, to see how origins will further evolve this dynamic franchise with bringing fresh gripping and expansive storytelling to our audience. Sasha Penn is the executive producer for origins. Uh, the Power Universe series is executive produced by the creator and showrunner of the original Power, Courtney A. Kemp, through her production company, End of Episode. Her is 50 Cent Jackson, her is 50 Cent Jackson through June Film and Television, and Mark Canton through Canton Entertainment. Lionsgate tel Television produces Origins for Stars. So that is the entire press release right there. Um, of course, this is amazing news for all of us, you know, who have loved this show for the past 10 years. First of all, I can't believe it's 10 years. Like that's that's major in itself. Like the fact that this show has been going that long, you know? Um, so yeah, that is the press release. And, you know, this has made the fandom very happy. Uh, you know, I see, I've, I've spoke to, to one of our friends, MovieBot also, he's very happy about this. Spoke to some other friends, you know, shouts to Dimitri. Um, so yeah, this is major news. So I want to get you guys thoughts on this. Um, I see even the, the NYPD is out there, you know, celebrating this news <laughs> of power origins. So, <laughs> so Dana, uh, what, what's your initial, what's your initial reaction to this? Oh, you're muted now. We can't hear you anymore. It's like something just cut out. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Did you pull something out?
when you moved, you might have like pulled something out. I don't know. Technical difficulties. All right. So we're going to go to Richard first. Richard, what's your initial reaction to this announcement? Well, I think this is a fantastic announcement. Uh, I saw that uh, there was a couple of social media posts on the Power account saying, you've asked and uh, we've answered in reference to the fans that have been asking for this to happen. Um, I'm pretty sure this was always the plan for stars because I know that uh, Amari Hardwick had said in his interviews over the last several years that he really wished that people got an understanding of ghosts, got a proper origin story to understand the character more. So I'm glad we're, we are finally going to get that. And I also like the idea of making this a separate show because I know, obviously, when we talk about Razor Kanan, everyone asks the question, when it, when is Ghost and Tommy going to show up? So obviously, now they have this separate show. You have the same show runner of Razor Kanan working on this show. So he has another show where he can focus on Tommy and Ghost without messing too much with Razor Kanan. So I think that's great. Uh, and uh, yeah, long overdue announcement. I'm looking forward to seeing all this come together. I know the press the press release stated that they are starting to work on it now. That I, for that reason, I don't know when exactly we're going to see it. Uh, but uh, doesn't matter. I'm just looking forward to it, and it's very exciting. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Um, Dana, uh, are you are you live? Can you hear me now? Working? Yeah, we can. Did. You hear me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I know about this yesterday. I know exactly what they were doing. And then all of the pieces started to come together on the website, the coalition.com. We put up a story that stated that Gary Lemon, who is the showrunner for power force was given this overall deal that included new creations, new extensions of the power verse. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, what characters would be the most obvious for an extension? And we already knew that we had Kanan, but we kept waiting for, remember, we we're waiting for Breeze and we're waiting for, and I'm like, well, without Breeze, yeah, you have Kanan, but without Kanan, you need Tommy and you also need Ghost. And that would have been the most logical step there. So that was an inkling that we was finally getting that um, coming down. Also, the fact that even though it's rumored, we never had concrete evidence of it. But remember how Sasha Penn kept teasing, Breeze is on the way. Breeze. And remember, I kept telling y'all, and I apologize to both of y'all again, because I'm like, y'all are crazy. Please just drop it. I'm tired. Can we move on? And you guys were right. And we got the tease of Breeze, or at least we think we know of Breeze, which is unique. And again, who is Breeze without Tommy and Kanan and Ghost. So to me, it made the most logical sense. Um, this was something that's really exciting because we began, we've been watching um, Raising Kanan and we kept expecting, where's Tommy? Where's Ghost? But I feel that this gives everybody, these three characters, a chance to breathe right now on their own. We're going to focus on what's called Power Origins, is going to be the name of the series. We're going to focus on their pairing. So therefore, we have Tommy and Ghost doing their own thing, right? And we're going to learn about how they came to be and how they got into power. And then we still have Raven Kanan, which focuses on Kanan and the mama and Breeze and that plot twist at the end. And we're going to, everyone is in the universe, but they're also going to just be able to develop and grow. And I'm very excited for this because this is something that was needed. Remember before we were supposed to get the fourth book of power was supposed to be influence. So I believe that was the third and then they replaced that with force, which became three. We were supposed to get influence, which was a spinoff of the uh, Tate, the Lorenzo, Lorenzo Tate's character from the power series. And it was going to be focused in DC about politicians and the government. And I'm still upset that we're not getting that because I, I, I need that. Put that kind of like a, power scandal show in my life mm, all black people power in the leaks but anyway i'm sorry I'm off track i i still want that show but this replaces 
that what that emptiness of because we always knew that we was getting a fourth show so this replaces that emptiness and you know this is something that people are looking forward to and that way we can pinpoint well this ties back to season one of the original series and oh snap he said he wanted a nightclub and we know what happens with a nightclub so it's just you know a way to one give the fans what they need and what they want and for those characters that we already know as omari was saying we really get a backstory we really get more meatiness to the character look at kanan we have more meatiness like, of who was Kane? You know, Kane started off as that scared little boy, and now he's the master manipulator. Later, as he, as an adult, and we get to see that growth. So I'm very happy about this. I'm looking forward to this. And also remember, yesterday in the post, it said more creations. So this is just the first of many announcements to come. Which, please give me my DC Power Show, Lorenz Tate. He still look good. You don't age. Give him a show. Um, so I look forward to this and what they're going to do. And they they said that they're working on it, but we already know that they're most likely anytime they announce something, it's already happened. So example, if they was to announce, I don't know, Sexy Red is in uh Power Book Four, just throwing it out there. That already means that she already signed the deal. She already filmed those scenes. That's already done. So I always find that when we get like, for example, exam screeners and they'll just like make an announcement, oh, Angela Bassett is the mama. And I was like, yeah, we've been there. She's in episode two and we've already seen it. So that means that this show is already, who knows? It's, 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 in, it's past the planning stages. The scripts are probably already written and they're doing casting right now. So yay, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh it's very exciting. Uh, Richard wanted to chime in, so go ahead, Rich. I, I just want to make a comment. Uh, yeah, like Dana said, I'm pretty sure it's far in development. Uh, but I just want to make a comment to stars. If they ever watch this video, please think carefully if you are going to choose rappers to be on your show. And you know what show I'm talking about. Yes, I'm throwing shots at that show. That's all I want to say, because I need to make sure people know how to act before they're given a role. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> ouch. Way, Power has been very good about it. I don't oh, know yeah. what he's been talking about. But, you know, Power has actually been very good with the casting. They don't celebrity cast. If yes. that person can actually act and you happen to be a celebrity, great. But they don't go out and be like, yeah, we need this uh, this person. And that one, oh, he's a rapper. Let's make him too. Uh, so, you know. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And whenever they have worked with rappers, it's usually like very well done, like like the Ken Kendrick Lamar in power. Um, like that was uh that was superb. Like it was a real moment, like it felt like a, a big moment. Um, and it wasn't, you know, just low quality bad acting, you know. So yeah, um, Anyway, back to power. So yeah, great news. Um, and um, I want to give my quick thoughts on this as well. So obviously, like, this is, you know, quite amazing. Uh, let me just, my phone's vibrating here. Yeah, so this is um, amazing news. And, you know, at the 10 year mark, it's, it's exciting to see that they're so heavily invested in, in the series still to the point where they're announcing new shows. And, uh, you know, 50 Cent is kind of back with stars now as well, which is a big deal. So I feel like we're going to get like an influx of new stuff. And and this probably also goes to show that they've put a lot more budget into these shows because now maybe they're starting to recognize that this is really the flagship show of stars. You know, it's like they're finally giving it that recognition of, okay, th this show leads our, our network. So we need to you know, reinvest in this and make sure that it's around for, for a long time and please these fans that have come, you know, to the network. So it, it's, it's, a, it's a very big deal um, to, to see this announcement. And, you know, instantly, like, I'm, I'm excited because to me, it seems like, you know, Raising Canaan is like my favorite of the spinoffs. And it seems like now that show is leading up to Origins, like, because we know that everything that happens 
in Origins comes after, you know, the Raising Canaan period. So it's like now it feels like they're setting up to lead into this, uh, you know, Origins series. And uh, my guess is that maybe we've got two seasons of Raising Canaan left and then it goes right into Origins, perhaps like, you know, because we're already three seasons deep. You know, so that would be about five seasons, you know, perhaps perhaps it could be six, could be six. But I feel like, you know, the, the Raising Canaan might lead directly into Origins, like, um, and Origins will come after. And, you know, as far as Breeze, we know Breeze was a big part of the whole Ghost and Tommy, you know, um, origin story, you know, as well as Kanan. Um, now... They are teasing Breeze heavy, of course, um, and you know, unique. It's a possibility that unique isn't even uh, Breeze. It could it could still be somebody completely different. Like it could be someone else. Like they're just kind of toying with us right now. You know, they're kind of teasing us along, making us think, oh, is it this person or is it that person? You know. Uh, but I do think that once we find out who Breeze is, Breeze is also going to be a big part of this origin series and we're going to see some of these events play out that they have referenced in the original power um and you know my guess is also that kanan is gonna uh you know we're gonna see that moment where ghost actually sets up kanan in this origin show like where where he sets him up to go to prison i feel like you know all of that is going to be covered in origins now um as far as casting and stuff, uh, of course, you know, they're probably going to go with like a younger Ghost and Tommy. Um, I, I would think it wouldn't be the same actors we saw in the epilogue in Power because those characters, those uh, actors probably aged by now, like they're, they're a lot older by now. So I would think that they would do recasting for these characters. Now, one thing I hope is that, you know, because a big part of raising Kanan is that 50 cent does the voiceover right so my hope is that we can get voiceover from both joseph sakura and omari hardwick i feel like that would really solidify this show um and you would get that original flavor of power in the show if you had those two narrating you know and maybe i don't know if you would if would it be too much if 50 did it too because you know Kanan's probably going to be in the show as well but but i i feel like it definitely needs 100 it needs joseph sakura and omari hardwick 100 those two like have to be narrators or be involved somehow you know uh go ahead rich you wanted to say something i agree 100 with what you just said gary uh i believe those two should be involved i know omari hardwick has been working on a lot of different projects. But from my perspective, it looks like I don't think he's having a ton of success compared to when he was on this show. And obviously, stars did not want to pay him what he was worth when he was on the show. So I know he had mentioned in an interview, I believe this was last year or so, that they did approach him about a return. But when he asked them, told them what he wanted, they did, they, they, they didn't they didn't, you know, respond back. So hopefully that is something that they are thinking about if they decide to bring him back. And let me make it very clear. I'm not talking about Ghost in the present. This is a story about his past. So I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that you can see something like that happen, even if he was narrating it. But again, I don't know what their plan is for that. But I do want to say this. Um, I definitely like this approach. And one thing I am very curious to see as far as Razor Kanan is concerned, prior to the uh, finale coming out for Razor Kanan, there was a leak online about some casting choices for, see, for, the, for the next season. Now, obviously, Stars has not yet announced who that cast is, but it's very interesting because they had somebody else cast as Breeze. They had Kanan's uh, you know, Sean's mom, Jarita, also listed, and they had Ghost's father listed on that cast. So again, that leak could be incorrect, but until stars make an announcement of who is actually going to be a part of next season, we have to wait and see. But I thought that was very interesting that that information came out and then disappeared right after 
we went into the, the final two episodes of Razor Canaan season three. So uh, definitely looking forward to seeing where they go with that. But uh, I agree with what you said, Gary. I will, I would like to see, obviously Tommy is, they that Tommy can definitely be a part of this show. He already has his own show. Um, but yeah, I'm just curious to see how they execute on all of the, all of this stuff, but stay tuned. Go ahead, Dana. I would like to retort. And I say this because of this. 50 Cent has his own thing he's narrating with the whole Raising Canaan situation ship, right? Um, Joseph Sakura has his own show. I feel Omari Hardwick should be the narrator, period, of this show, not the other two. Um, and I do feel this, and I, and I genuinely feel sorry for what happened. I feel that power, you know, Omari's power when came out before its time. In terms of shows like these being deemed, oh, that's ghetto. That's just for the blacks. You don't have that overwhelming acceptance from, say, white publications. Um, I'm looking up on TV on, say, the Tamron Hall show and uh, uh, Kelly Clarkson show, and I'm seeing interviews with the cast of BMF, interviews with the cast of uh, Raven Kanan and the other people. And I just feel that this show was ahead of its time and it tried and it deserved, but it tried to get the recognition that people refused to give it the recognition, except for people in the black community. So I do feel that there is a way that we could, you know, give Omari his flowers because he deserves that. And that's why I feel he should be the sole narrator for this show. And I am very happy that they're making, even though he won't be it because he's older and this is about the, the kid version of that character. But I do feel that this would be a really great way to honor him. Also, put him back on those press tours. Let's know what his opinions are. Let him know what he thinks about with the growth of the character. Because to me, he just, society wasn't ready to open up to give him his flowers for that. So I think it's very important that he has that. Also, I just wanted to state that I love the fact that Courtney Kipp is involved with this because you know that this is, this is her brainchild, this is her baby. And you know, she had so many you, wonderful ideas that we've seen in the original Power show. And we've seen throughout the other, because she executive produces the other shows. So I, I'm really happy that this is, this is something that, you know, is, it feels like everyone coming back home for that family reunion in a way, I'm not sure if that makes any sense. But this is just something where they deserved to be honored. I'm so looking forward to this. And I've never really truly been excited for a power show, except for when we thought would be Tommy, but then we saw what happened with Tommy. But I've never truly just been like in my gut, so incredibly happy for a show to come out like I am with this. And I'm begging to just bring back Omari and let him be the voice of the character. Even though this is, this is Tommy and Ghost, but, but, but give him those, those flowers that he deserves for what he created with the character. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward. And I'm also, I, as you guys already know, I'm in New York City, hi serial killers. I'm in New York City, so I will be on the lookout for any kind of, you know, we'll be shooting this secret project that belongs to stars. I'll be posting those up and be like, look, it's here. They're doing something. It's just the outside of a church, but look, they're filming. I just will make a quick comment. Uh, yeah, I agree on everything you said. Although one correction, uh, we all know that uh, you and Gary are huge uh, Force fans. So that's why my name on today's show is Power, powder, respect, because I know y'all cannot wait until the next season of Force. So <laughs> you make a joke, but I actually <laughs> will probably have to agree with that, especially since I'm watching another show that is not on that power level. You know, uh -oh. it's about a family uh -oh. of mafias. Yeah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to <laughs> Force. Bring on Black Tommy again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um no comment but um <laughs> go ahead dana we're we're missing out of the big thing as well that no one's talking about 
without these people who also was part of Tommy and Ghost Life. Uh, Tasha, Tasha. So we're gonna finally oh, yeah. get our baby Tasha. Cause they knew each other when they was kids. And I believe, um, was Lakeisha, Lakeisha didn't know them when they were kids, did they? Well, I guess they could like say that, you know, Lakeisha was Tasha's friend still at that point, but who knows? Uh, but the another thing is Angela as well, because I, I I think he met he met Angela first. So mm -hmm. um that was so, his yeah, love she, of his life. Yep. She's likely to, to be in there. So and it's a love story, which so Angela will have to be involved. Tasha is involved. No, no, he met her before Tasha. So therefore we'll finally get like the 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 Angela Tommy love story that I know Richard desperately wanted. And we'll learn uh, about I, that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm excited to see that love story after watching another show about a love story. So uh yeah. But I will say this. Um I'm looking forward to all those things. Also, the point about uh you guys mentioned Angela, you mentioned uh I'm trying to think. I lost my train of thought. Come back Tasha. to me. Go ahead. Uh, no, no, Tasha? no. It's uh Lakeisha. No, no. Okay, yeah, that's what it was. Um, I also, and this is just my opinion, I think we will get more of a backstory on the kind of relationship that Ghost had with his own father. And because of what they did with Tariq and Ghost, you may see some similarities with that because obviously he probably had issues with his father too. So stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. Well, getting we're getting crackhead uh, Kate. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely Kate. Oh yeah, and that can bleed see. into the other boy. Maybe we would get a baby Black Tommy. Mm-hmm. Because isn't yeah. he older? Yeah, he is the oldest. You're correct. Mm -hmm. So, possibilities. Yeah, we can see them, like, you know, set that whole story up, like, from, from the scratch. From scratch, like, you know, how yeah. she she had a secret son and everything. So, yeah. Um, exciting times. Like, there's so much they could do. Uh, there's things they could do to to weave everything together with, with Ghost as well. You know, book two Ghost, like... There's so many things they can do now with this universe, so I'm excited. And like you mentioned, Dana, there's still other announcements. You know, there's other spinoffs to come. So I'm I'm very excited uh, about all of this. And I like, in my opinion, I'm I'm thinking they might already have Omari back with them, like just working in secret. <laughs> so um, that would be <laughs> you know exciting if, if if he's already a part of origins and possibly doing stuff on other shows like that would be very exciting to, to see so mm -hmm. and um, he needs the win because he was in mothership and netflix said that movie was so bad they cancel it they want to release it <laughs> yeah, and it they, they in it. yeah that that's that's gonna be annoying like he had a whole movie with Halle berry and they canceled it like he, he hasn't been having much luck since leaving power so i mean why not come back you know might as well. So yeah, uh, but that's about it. Is there any final thoughts or anything else that you guys wanted to uh, kind of discuss real quick before we wrap this up? I I do have a final question for the both of you, as well as all the people that those that decide to comment on this uh, video. Um, what are some other spinoffs that you would like to see? Now, obviously, I agree with, with Dana. I hope they bring back influence. Because I wanted to see how they were going to tell that story. And obviously, mm -hmm. Lorenz Tate, he is perfect for the show. Uh, but I don't know if they're going to do that. But I'm just curious if you guys had any other spinoffs you would like to see beyond this this one. Ooh. I don't know. That, that is a really good question. Um, let me think on that. Who? What spinoff would I like? uh um that's a great question now me. oh you want to go first dana because i haven't i was gonna what about one of the cartel leads that was like really popular 
on this show. You mean uh, uh Lo Lobos who they had, to, they had to kill him off yeah. early in the show? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's one they could do, Lobos, yeah. He he was a real big iconic character in the original, so I could see them doing something with, with that character, expanding on his history. I I to to, to go to, to piggyback off of what you just said, Gary, if they ever went in that direction, I would like to see how his death impacted his family. And if he had any other siblings or someone else that decided to take up the mantle and take over his operation, I think that'll be kind of interesting in case that character shows up in the future. It can that could show up in another power show. Um, but we'll see. But go ahead. <laughs> yeah, like mine was gonna be, you know, and people might be mad at me for this, but <laughs> um, mine was gonna be like let's say ghost is still alive right like and he comes back eventually um they could have like a, a mini series that shows what he was doing while he was gone kind of thing like what he did like why he did what he did first of all how he did it and what he's been doing since then and then explain why he comes back you know to to basically come and get to reek you know to come and dispose of his son <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, that, that's what came to mind, but the Lobos one, I think would be better than that actually, because it's, it's more unique. Um, and yeah, I think that would be super interesting. I got I got one more Go ahead. Proctor's daughter, because that is the character that clearly has a, uh, unfinished business with Tommy. So I would like to know what happened to that character. Yeah, that that's that's one character they have to bring back at some point, mm -hmm. like because yeah, she she had a big uh, impact on Tommy's character at the end of of Power. So you know, I, I always thought she was gonna come back in Force or something, but um, yeah, if they do a spin off with her, that would be that would be good also. Um, I mean, another thing they could do is I, I don't know where they're planning on taking the whole Tahada thing, but you know. I wouldn't be mad at a Kane spinoff, you know, about Kane, uh, about, you know, him, just him by himself doing stuff, you know. I like that. Woody, Woody is a great actor. I, I would definitely watch that show. <laughs> Teenage yeah. sex in a courtroom. We get courtroom dramas. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, good. I'm good on sex. I'm good on sex. <laughs> <laughs> that got shot down so quick. <laughs> we, we we only just got rid of him, man. Like I don't I don't want to go back to sex. <laughs> now prop, props to the props to the actor who played sax though. He did a great job. But uh but yeah, uh, there, there's a lot they could do. I mean, there's so many interesting characters. Um, you know, there's there's I've, there's a lot they could do. I think. I mean, we could even have something with jukebox, like jukebox when she's a crooked cop or something. You know, like there's so many ideas of what they could do. Um, so yeah, I, I want to see if the people in the comments come up with some ideas too, because you know, the people are creative out there. So yeah, uh, but any other final thoughts or things we need to touch on before we uh, end this off? It, it's been 10 years. Good Lord. Time flew. That went so fast. Go ahead, Rich. You were going to say something. Oh, no. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, once again, awesome news to hear today. Uh, want to remind everybody that we will be back for PowerCast. They haven't yet announced when uh, we're going to get the season premiere of uh, Ghost. But I heard a rumor it's going to be sometime in May. So that means an announcement is possibly coming soon. So stay mm -hmm. tuned. We, we, we're looking forward to covering that show because we enjoyed that show. And then, of course, like I said earlier, uh, Gary and Dana's favorite power spinoff of all, of, of all time, uh, Force. We will be covering that as well later this year, whenever it, whenever it debuts. So, yeah, looking forward to it. <laughs> and we have BMF interviews, so... Plenty of content. Yes. 
yeah, to, to the people asking, um, you know, we're, we're covering BMF in a more limited capacity. Now, we, we may do some video content, you know, related to it outside of the interviews. You know, we might do some wrap ups or talk about specific storylines and things like that. But we're not covering it in the weekly format that we like we do with Powercast at the moment. So, yeah, I know there was there was a lot of people who asked. So I just thought I would mention that. I, I think it's good to mention that. I will also add that if you would be interested in seeing us do some BMF shows, let us know in the comments. Because, I yeah, that, that's the main thing I would like to see. Obviously, with the power, because it's such a popular series, I understand why we have a lot of people commenting on those shows. But, yes, if you would like to see more BMF talks in the future, definitely be vocal about it and let us know in the comments, and we'll see what we can do. But otherwise, stay tuned for PowerCast when it returns. Absolutely. Yeah, and on that note, that is going to wrap this up. We just wanted to make sure, you know, we we uh, got on to discuss this announcement because it is huge and it does affect, you know, the future of, uh, you know, the Power fandom and the PowerCast specifically. You know, this means uh, that we're going to be podcasting for another decade probably <laughs> so so you guys <laughs> you guys will have to put up with us until then you know i'm, I'm gonna be on my walking uh, stick by the time we finish so that tommy character you know back in 2004 he said this <laughs> exactly <laughs> so yeah um we'll be back probably in may um of course if there are other announcements we'll get back on and do something like this as well so look out for that but um, yeah, we'll be back soon. You guys take care of yourselves and uh, definitely uh, drop your comments, leave your comments, hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you soon.